I say, let's start this video off right with a beautiful pup, <laughs> a beautiful puppy Chino right here. This is Ruby. Say hello, everybody. Ruby says, we got to the 100 subscriber ship almost, and we're celebrating early because Dad is doing so good with these videos. And people love it, so there's Ruby. She's a golden doodle. She loves <clears throat> the house. She's a big guard dog. We always hear her on the videos. She's the loudest one in the house, easily. The boy dog, Rocky, is deciding not to be in the video today. But, <clears throat> yeah, he'll probably make an appearance because it's a very special video, right? But, yeah, we will be talking about the MTG today. So there it is. Zoom in on there. Wow, look at the high-tech quality very technologically advanced here in the Titanovix deck tech videos. So <clears throat> basically um, the point of this video was just kind of go over like the commanders that I play. And I'm pretty sure this is all of them here. And uh, you know, maybe uh, just have a, just kind of a discussion about, you know, like what makes you, you know, attracted to a certain commander more often to another. And um, for me, like, it's just, I like straightforwardness, you know. Uh, there's so many different ways to build commanders, and I've seen so many different ways of people, you know, playing magic and you know, never under, underestimating, you know, builds and such. You know, you, everyone has their merits, and, you know, sometimes certain combinations of cards really, you know, thrive well that you didn't expect in the first place, and you learn a lot from them, in, 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 you know, in that process. So... I mean, what are the, um, you know, my favorite commanders right now, I would say, probably has to be Sauron. This is probably one of the newer ones that I've made. Maybe that's how it goes. It's just like the newest one that you build becomes kind of your favorite. So uh, I just like the, um, you know, mono black kind of vibes. You know, I feel like it's um, it's strong in itself and, and maybe has legs, you know, um, in terms of just the way it kind of, takes care of the board, um, and, uh, can, you know, deliver, um, you know, kind of drain damage to your opponents. I, I think that's kind of a nice, uh, way to go into, um, your game style. So I really love Sauron a lot. That one's really nice, of course. Um, some of the other ones I built just, just mostly that were very strong. Uh, Thalia was just very good. I feel like I could probably make a pretty good Thalia deck now and, um, really go hard on that graveyard. Um, and really derive a lot of value in terms of landfall uh, that way. I feel that's like kind of what I found out is I really like to kind of derive value from um, the graveyard and this is a perfect commander to do so with landfall's way. I think most of my commanders are built for landfall um, in general or, or have gone that direction in some way or another. For instance, like Brokos is like my one of my first uh, commander decks that I built. And I just love Brokos. Mutate is was just a fantastic, strong mechanic for my Coria, and it just really kind of has some really nice uh, components to it. And there's a pretty decent amount of Mutate creatures that were printed in my Coria, and then in some in like some of the supplemental sets. So there definitely is enough, um, you know, Mutate to go around. And I just like the fact that you this thing can get removed, and you can go ahead and recast it from your graveyard, which is always nice. You don't have the commander tax um, from the graveyard. So I just really liked Brokos as like a free mutate in the graveyard always. So very cool card, very cool card for sure. Here's Dahlia. Anawan, this one's definitely a, kind of a fan favorite for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, what's not to like about Anawan? Just not only do you get to play a lot of like smallish creatures that are very evasive, but then you get to draw a ton of cards. So that is just a very fun kind of, well, there you go, come on in. You're in the video, so come on up. Come on up here. Oh, you want one of these. She wants a, a jerky treat that I got out. She's being kind of bossy. Hey, sit down for that. Big sit. Come on. Come on, baby. Don't mind your barking so much. So, yeah. Um, 
and it's just really interesting to like kind of you know investigate what it means to draw a lot of cards and what kind of um cards have that like kind of uh you know synergy with the abundance of drawing cards um really a standout card from this one was teferi the temporal master he's that he was the newer one from the uh i believe it's the martian machine set he's really great uh and the ultimate going off um is pretty easy when you're drawing a lot of cards um so anawan really does does uh does that job additionally anawan has a lot of mil like um, milling um you know capabilities like milling your opponents so I mean, um, there's some really nasty cards that uh, kind of can, um, like Blood Chief's Thirst, I think, or it's not Blood Chief's Ascension, where just like you're just ending games so fast. So uh, yeah, the Anawan is just a solid one, right? And um, someone mentioned in the, ch in the chat, the chat comments, uh, Double Down is a card from um, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So um, that would be one to look out for. That one just... Um, copies all of your rogue spells that you cast, so that's really good. It's in blue, so very interesting card, right? Also, um, Roaming Throne is also one to look out for with Anna one as well. What a bomb, what an absolute bomb that is. Doubling these these triggers here, getting the buff. Wow, it's just wild, wild stuff. Doubles all your, um, your uh, rogue tr triggers in general. It's like a crazy tribal card. Uh, probably one of the top commanders for me is definitely Aragorn the Uniter because uh, this one is just uh, just so many different ways you could you know go about it. I feel like my favorite version of it was um, or maybe like the strongest was the Bard class. The Bard class version. It seems like they keep on printing good like Teamer and Gruel um, Legends. Anything with like green red in it. Um, so obviously um, like an equipment deck. Uh, like with Ember Cleave um, would be very good. Shadow Spear, um, Xenagos, and like your Legends is just a very good um, setup for Aragorn. It definitely has some nice capabilities and surprising surprise factor too. So um, yeah, Aragorn the United, that one is fantastic. Again, you have like access to those tutors there. You have um, Bloom Tender, Fabor Elder. Those are just very good. You can play some nice Mana Dorks also like with Elysian Karatid. So there's you can you can definitely accelerate fast into your commander and I love this one. This will definitely be one I'll revisit over and over again. Brago, this was like probably one of the stronger decks that I you know started building. Azorius was so strong, and uh, you know just getting all the value from artifacts. Definitely an artifact centered build for Brago for me. Um, you know deriving value off of uh, our enter the battlefield triggers. Gandalf is in that deck. Uh, additionally, um, the Mother Machine, Elish Norn, is in there. Uh, so yeah, it's just another really, just double your enter the battlefield triggers for artifacts, basically, and kind of go wild with there. I think I have an Embry Lurker of the Lock in that deck, so really fun deck. Also another one that I really want to kind of go back and tune up and share with you all. So um, look forward to that one as well. Brago will definitely be on the horizon. And I'll probably go to LGS, pick up some new packs and stuff, check out the new set. Of course, there's so many new cards that are coming out, and you all keep me kind of uh, educated on what's new and good, so I appreciate that. Here is the Okiba Boss. And, uh, I mean, I, I mean, from the views I get on this video and the subscribership, I mean, thanks. You know, I think that's kind of this commander may, may have made this channel. To be honest, I'd say Grease Fang is the most popular probably commander I talk about. And for good reason, it's very user friendly. Um, it's a it's a cheaper deck to build. There's no doubt about it. Your land, land base isn't that bad. You uh, have access to a lot of cheaper vehicles. And um, you know, even the setup cards aren't, aren't too bad either. It's just like, you know, you have your putrid imps, you have your um, like Guardians of New Benalia. I think like pretty much the only kind of Price your tags, the um, cards you have in there, like land tax. But that just got a reprint um, recently, too. Some of the um, vehicles, like Reaver Titan, I think is kind of on the pricier side, too. But overall, you're looking like at like maybe 50 cents or less a card. I mean, these vehicles are definitely not that expensive. Bank Buster might be a couple bucks. Smuggler Copter. Mesmeric Orb went up. That definitely was a card that went up recently. Um, so, I mean, other than that, you're pretty good and you get 
you get amazing vehicles like um i think one's called like a smuggler's i don't know there's another not smuggler's copter but like smuggler's something or rather um man, <laughs> i want to say boogie booty it's boogie smuggler's boogie i don't know it's just a crazy hideaway vehicle and it's like 50 cents but it's so good with haste and you can just like basically cast a card deal five damage cast a card you know it's it's just crazy for free so um yeah there's grease Fang. what a fantastic one there and then of course my first commander that i've ever built and i stepped into an lgs with this thing and i was like let's go and i <laughs> I think I casted like a 7-7 like my first game and people were like really scared and I was like well, this is kind of fun you know I still got you know destroyed by goblins but like I came back you know the next time and I was a little bit stronger and I really liked that first gruel list I built it was very gruel had like um oh, what did I have in it it had like uh Elder Gargaroth in it and uh it had some <laughs> it had like the uh Oh my God, it had some crazy green cards in it. The one, uh, Defiler of Vigor, and uh, it had some commander cards in there, like the um, one that buffs up all your creatures if you have Mary on the battlefield. And uh, God, I don't even know if it had Crater Hoof in it yet or not, but um, it was just Gruel Central. I think I even had a Maul Lock. It was pretty cool. It was pretty uh, pretty nice deck, actually. So. Oh uh, yeah, I went into different directions and now I have like kind of another kind of proxy-ish deck, you know, that I have from Maria. So who knows, you know, but uh, yeah, I appreciate all of you for hanging out with me and let's do a hundred more. Let's try to do this. We'll just go a hundred at a time. It'll be great and it'll be fun. So have a great day, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.